Thanks a lot for your interest in Applied Education Salary Packaging Courses. I'm Brett Thornett. I'm one of the course developers and also one of the trainers in this area. In terms of what you would be covering in the course, uh, the first thing is just an introduction. So what we look at in the introduction is mainly the legislative framework under what packaging operates. So we'll have a look at how the cash component of salary and wages is taxed and also how the non-cash component is taxed, normally under the Fringe Benefits Tax Assessment Act. From there, we actually have a look at what packaging actually is, how it benefits the employer, how it benefits the employee, and we also discuss in that chapter the typical types of benefits that people are offering to their staff. From there, we just go through the various array of benefits which are on offer, and we start off with exempt type benefits, such as tablet PCs, notebooks, anything which doesn't attract FBT. Next, we need to have a look at concessional organisations. By concessional, I mean public benevolent institutions, rebatable organisations, and also uh, public and not-for-profit hospitals. The reason we need to look at these organisations is that the tax rules are different. So we need to have a look at what the rules are, but also how people in those, in those sectors uh, benefit from those laws. Really the ATO are giving you a reward for being in that sector. From there we're looking at cars and related benefits. So with the car we look at how the uh, fringe benefits tax is calculated. We'll then have a look at how the salary sacrifice is calculated and then we look at ways of putting it through the package from there. We'll then have a look at all the other benefit types. It might be housing, um, property free, discounted. Um, where we concentrate it on is where there is opportunities to package from that chapter there. Next is remote areas and relocation concessions. There's a lot of FBT concessions for people in remote areas with housing and travel and so forth. Um, as part of that also, we'll have a look at relocation and also living away from home, allowance type fringe benefits. And the final thing that we need to have a look at is how the provision of these types of benefits affect your employee's overall position Sometimes it has unintended consequences. So we'll look at how to calculate the amount to be reported, where it goes onto their payment summaries, and also the consequences thereon. So it is, it is a very comprehensive course, and hopefully I'll see you at one of the courses in the not-too-distant future.